I just got six inches cut off my hair. That's half a foot. <laughs> I just decided to go for it, to do something different, do something bold, say yes to a new beginning. In fact, that's what I want to talk to you about today. Of course, I'm Terry Savelle Foy, your cheerleader of dreams. I mean, I don't want to talk to you about cutting your hair, but I want to talk to you about saying yes to something new, something different, something challenging. Let's talk about it. I was reading a story about a woman who was in a writer's group and they would have speakers come in from time to time and speak to the group. Well, they didn't have any speakers lined up and everyone in the group was saying, we can't find any speakers. We don't even know where to look. Well, this woman didn't either, but all of a sudden she took the initiative to just figure it out. She Googled it. She found a local university where a guy was willing to come speak for free. He came. It was fantastic. Well, the group thoroughly enjoyed it. And then afterwards she sat there thinking, wow, that was so easy. Why couldn't anyone else do that? Then she thought it wasn't that anyone else couldn't do that. It's that no one else did. Well, then she thought, how many other opportunities have I lost because I didn't make the effort? She said no to things that she should have said yes to. Well, she decided right then that one word would rule her life. And that word was yes. Yes, she would make an effort. Yes, she would participate. Yes, she would run in the 5K race for charity. Yes, she would go to the concert in the park or the science fiction conviction. Conviction or convention? I don't know. You get it. <laughs> she actually declared her summer the summer of yes. Well, the next morning, her mayor hosted a 5K race along the river trail. She got off her couch at 9 a.m., put on her jogging shoes that she never jogged in, and went down to the park. She thought she was nuts, but when the shotgun went off, she started moving her legs. She said her couch potato behind <laughs> walked all three miles that day. Well, after she said yes to that, she started getting invitations to things, and her answer would always be, of course I'll do it. It's the summer of yes. Well, she actually looked four things she would normally never do. Like she entered a costume contest. She rode her bicycle to work. She tried recipes from magazines. She shopped at the farmer's market instead of the grocery store. She said most of the time, yes was easy. Well, once she got going, momentum kept her moving. Well, soon the summer of yes, it spread to her friends. She'd ask them to come along for the adventure and they'd respond, well, it is the summer of yes. Well, here's the thing. What started for her as a summer of yes to 5K races and concerts in the park, it turned into yes to being president of the Writers Club, yes to finishing her degree, yes to submitting short stories for publication, yes to getting out of a job that she hated. So the summer of yes focused her on the things she really wanted in life. Well, by the end of the summer of yes, she had a new job. She got published. By Christmas, she earned her associate's degree. Now she's going to Europe for the first time. What am I saying? Yes changed her life. Now for her friends, the summer of yes is over. But for Erica, it became the year of yes, the life of yes. So let me ask you, when was the last time you did something totally different? You tried a new workout, like me right now. I never do the bike at the gym, but I'm pushing myself to do something different. Well, what does that mean for you? Start learning a new language. Take music lessons. Cut your hair like I did. Maybe not six inches. <laughs> Visit a new restaurant or go on a totally different vacation. See, doing something different is so good for you. It pushes you, challenges you, changes you, and it actually prepares you for a new level in your life. You know, the Bible says you have not passed this way before. In other words, God has new things for you, but you got to step out and do new things. Have you heard that phrase, nothing changes if nothing changes? It's so simple, but so profound. See, in any area of life, if you're believing for a change, you got to make a change. So do something different. Start saying yes to new things. In fact, I'm believing for this YouTube channel to grow and to reach more people. So I'm going to step out and just ask you if you'll help me. You know, sometimes it's uncomfortable asking people to subscribe, but you know, the Bible says you have not because you ask not. So I'm just going to ask if you would take one second and just push the subscribe button because it lets us and it lets YouTube know that you want Christian inspiration on here. So hey, I asked. 
Now, I want you to do some things that stretch you. In fact, I put together 50, 50, you heard me right, ideas to get you to start saying yes to some new things. Now, these are 50 30-day challenges. Just pick one and get started. You know, I think it was number seven is one of my favorites. So check it out, see which one you wanna do, and you're gonna love this list because it's gonna get your mind thinking. Now, some of them are gonna stretch you and some are just gonna be fun, but all you have to do is click the link in the description and download this free 30-day challenge ideas to get started today. And you should share this video with maybe one friend and tell them it's the month of yes, let's do this together. Now, I'm sure you've heard of Shonda Rhimes. She's the creator of shows like Scandal, Grey's Anatomy, How to Get Away with Murder. Well, her sister Dolores said six words to her on Thanksgiving Day that changed her life forever. You know what it was? You never say yes to anything. Think about that. Well, that statement just shook her up and compelled her to choose one three-letter word for her entire year. Of course, you guessed it. It's yes. Why? Because she realized she was saying no to everything. Amazing invitations she would get to be a guest on famous talk shows, um, attending award shows and presenting awards, being around influential people outside of work. She always said no. And the reason why was because of anxiety, fear, self-doubt, just being nervous. Well, all of a sudden she started saying yes. Yes to everything. And it opened up this whole new world to her. She's done TED Talks about it. She wrote a best-selling book about it. She became a New York Times best-selling author. All because she focused on one word to drive her decisions, her actions, and it changed her life forever. So I'm asking you today, what could you accomplish in one month? Maybe one quarter, maybe one year. If you chose the word yes, to new challenges, to stretch yourself, to grow, to expand, and perhaps develop some new habits. Maybe you've struggled with the same 10 pounds for months. Make a change. Say yes to joining the gym, trying weightlifting or a spin class. Maybe you've been saying for years you're gonna pay off your credit card debts. Make a change, do something different. Say yes to that extra job for maybe the next three months so you can pay off the debt. Maybe you've been praying for God to restore your marriage, but nothing seems to be changing. Make a change. Do something different. Say yes to counseling or taking an online class about relationships. What I'm saying is do something different because so many times we're praying for God to change things, but he's saying, make a change. You know, I heard Joyce Meyer say, God will change your circumstances, but he'll change you first. So, what do you need to start saying yes to? Maybe it's pack a bag, load up your car, or get on a plane and get a ticket and come to icing women's event in Dallas, Texas. <laughs> Labor Day weekend. But seriously, maybe you need to step out of your comfort zone. Spend a weekend saying yes to yourself, to your new beginning, to the dreams that God put in your heart. That's what you'll do at the icing conference. Plus, you'll have lots of cake. But if you feel something stern inside saying, should I? then go for it. Start saying yes to uncomfortable, unusual things that you've never done before. But you know, it's gonna push you towards your dreams. So you can register at terry.com slash icing if I'm speaking to you. And I would love to get to encourage you in person, not just on video, to go after your dreams. Nothing beats that in-person experience of getting filled up with vision and faith. So back to our 30 day challenge, you can easily access this free download by clicking the link in the description and you'll get 50 choices to pick from. Here's the thing, the next 30 days are gonna pass anyway. So why not do something that could very well change your entire life and possibly open up a whole new world for you simply because you said yes. And hey, don't forget, I'm cheering you on to live your dreams. Hey YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to get more inspirational content, click one of these videos right here. And remember, 